All right, guys, welcome and thanks for joining me again. Today, I'm gonna to be painting up a few of the carnivores from the Crute hunting pack, just to see if I can't nail down a decent color scheme for painting up the rest of the box set. So let's get into it. So as I'm wanting to paint up some yellow skinned crout, I'm going to take the white primed models and I'm going to spray on a base coat of Impish Rouge Pink. And you just want to apply this pink to all areas of the model. As I have done a little bit of testing before this and pink definitely seems to be the best base coat for yellow. Then I'm just gonna use some white ink, but you could use any white you want here. It doesn't necessarily have to be ink to apply a simple white zenithal. I've mentioned it before, but I'll always use ink if I've got the opportunity as they just flow through the airbrush so much nicer than paints and don't require any messing about with thinning. And I'm just going to apply this over the entire model from the top and from 45 degrees only. And that should give us a really nice base to then apply our yellow. Next, we're going to be applying the yellow flesh tone to the model. And to do that, I'm going to be using Army Painter Speed Paint Sell It to Yellow. I've used this yellow before and it's a really nice orangey yellow. And it's gonna be perfect for the skin tone of these crude. And again, I like to use speed paints through the airbrush when I can. For the same reasons, I like to use the inks. And I'm just going to apply this yellow to all of the white areas on the model. And that should give us a nice, quick and easy yellow skin tone. Next up, it's time to deal with all the metallics. And to do that, I'm going to be using plate mail metal. And you just need to apply this to all the parts on the model that you want to be metallic. The parts that I painted here were the barrel of the gun, the shoulder pad, any knives or blades on the model, any bullets that they're carrying, and all of the wristbands and necklaces on the models. At this point, I did also try painting in some of these parts in gold. However, I did realize that the gold was way close to the yellow skin tone. So I eventually changed all these parts to silver at some point in the video. For all of the leather body straps and any of the straps that are on the guns as well, I painted in using the Army Painter Brown Triad. And I just used these colours to firstly base coat these areas in the darkest colour in the triad. And then I just worked my way up the triad using basic layering, covering a smaller surface area and then finishing up on the lightest colour in the triad. Uh, and that's another reason why I just really love this new Army Painter paint range. It just really makes colour choices so simple. And for the stock of the gun, I used the Army Painter Ruddy Brown Triad. And this is a nice reddish brown that should look good on the stock of the gun. And again, I'm just following the same process here. I'm using the darkest color in the triad to base coat, and then I'm just working my way up to lighter colors in the triad, covering a smaller surface area, and then finishing up on the lightest color again. And I'm not using any water or mediums here. However, I am using a wet palette, so that does add a little bit of moisture to the paint. 
So if you're not using a wet palette, you might want to thin down the paint a little bit with water. Next up, we're going to be painting in the hair and we're going to be using the magenta triad for that, which has to be my favorite triad in the set. And we're just gonna use exactly the same technique here as we did with the browns, starting off with the darkest color and working our way up to the lightest. And just be careful with the very lightest color in this triad, the diviner light. It is very desaturated, so you only want to apply this to the very tips of each of the areas here, in this case, uh, the blades of hair. And just take your time here and try and hit every single blade of hair individually if you can, and build up the highlights from dark to light. Next up, we're going to start applying some shade to the model. Starting off with Army Painter Dark Tone. And I'm going to be applying this to all of the metallic areas on the model. And I'm just applying one coat of this straight up out the bottle with no dilution. And you may have noticed it here, but I accidentally used Army Painter Strong Tone instead of Dark Tone which ended up turning all my metallics a kind of a brownish tint. So I did end up repainting the metallics and reapplying the correct tone. Next up, I'm going to be applying shade to all of the flesh and hair. And to do that, I'm going to be using Army Painter Magenta Tone, mixed 50-50 with Glaze Medium. And again, I'm just going to be applying one coat of this. However, this time, as I said, I'm going to be thinning it down with glaze medium, which will give us a little bit of a smoother finish with less dark pulling areas on the model. And this turned out to be a great tone to use for the flesh as it flows into all the recesses and reinforces all of the nice pink undershading that we applied earlier on. And after all that shade has dried, the model is pretty much complete. The only other things that I did at this stage were to paint in the eyes with Arctic Gem Blue and give a quick edge highlight to all of the metallics using the same plate mail metal that we used originally. And I finally applied a coat of matte varnish to take away all the shine from any of the shades that we used. And now the model's ready to be based. And I'll be using the same magenta crystal basing technique that I used in my previous Tau videos. And if you want to see how I paint them up, you can just check out one of my Black Armour Tau videos from about a month ago. But all in all, I'm really happy with the way these turned out. These were surprisingly quick to paint and the result I'm absolutely delighted about. And I think this would look really good across the full box set. I do have the rest of the carnivores to paint up, along with all the other models, so I may try some different colours out if I've got the time. And if there is a specific colour that you do want to see, then let me know in the comments below. But apart from that, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.